People who say I'm a director choreographer, I strongly recommend a couple of things. A, when I was at Stratford, my journey there started as a performer, then I was choreographing and still performing. Then I let choreography go and I choreographed a ton of plays, which I thought was important for me as a director to move into that world. I recommend any choreographer to direct plays. More important than musicals when you're starting. Because the most important skill you can have as a choreographer is to move people who can't dance. Well. Say that again. The most important skill that you have as a choreographer, as a if you're going to do major musicals, is to be able to move actors in character that aren't dancers first, that are movers or aren't comfortable dancing, but keeping them in a dance number. And if you do plays, I did a lot of Shakespeare. I choreographed Shakespeare, a lot. And by doing that, A, you have empathy, compassion for that actor. They're out of their comfort zone. How do you make them comfortable? And how do we find joy in movement? That's not necessarily, definitely not their first skill. And you know, I think people, actors are most vulnerable with movement because it's so, it's so there, <laughs> you know, it's so raw. I can hide with this, right? I can do sure. tissue mask work. Yes, yes. I can't hide this. Yes, it's very hard. And so I think it's really important for a choreographer to do plays. I've always said that to all of my associates. They have done plays. They know how hard they are. To understand actors, to understand, understand story, actors. to understand... All of it. All of it. All because, of it. Because, you know, now you don't hide behind steps. Now you do have to tell a story. There are no steps. You don't hide behind the steps. You don't hide behind the skill, the steps, the I, flash, the I this. I need to create a loop recal. I need to create the dance at the end of As You Like It. They're not dancers. How do we create joy with movement without them being able to dance? That's really important skill. So then you will be story driven. And I think that's really important as a choreographer. So going back to this young woman and saying, I. You know, I think for you to say, I want to be a director choreographer means you need to just direct. You need to be an assistant director without the other part. And I did that for a long time. I was just assistant directing, associate director on plays, then doing opera. I, I needed to get away from not, it, it, only because I, I, I didn't want to depend on that as your go-to, if that makes sense. I, I, I really wanted to go, okay, this is a whole other side. It's not a natural progression, right? That's not a natural thing. Um, and you have to spend a lot of time understanding actors and understanding text and understanding, you know, what is the story? And, and how can I help an actor? How can I help go, you know, actors to me, Actors are brilliant. They come to the table. They've got the skills. There's the kit bag. Here you go. What would you like? Yes, ma'am. Here we go. I've got this. I've got this. And my job is to say, more of that. I like that. That's good. What if? It's a lot of what ifs because I don't have the answers. I really don't. I, 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 working with actors is just like such a joy, that commu communication. And, and, and it's the... it's. It's the fearlessness you want in a room, people trying it, not it not working, or me having an idea, and an actor goes, sure, I'll try it, but, ooh, you know. 